Modifying cell styles. <clears throat> I just added in another row to this door schedule. And the first thing I see is that in my table properties, it, it tells me all the things about my data cells. And right now I have it as a top right for the uh, for the alignment here. And, uh, and it controls the colors and all uh, the borders and all those types of things. So I want it to get to look like this so I can override my table style properties. And then come over here and I can say it's middle center. I can also come in here and I can select all of these and say, you know, I would really like the manufacturer to be left justified, but they're all middle center justified. So I can select a bunch of them and I can say I want it middle left and that will shift them all over to the left. I can say, well, you know, I really want to identify the quantity uh, so that people can see that. I can come in here and say, well, I want the color to be overridden instead of being white. I can, I can say, you know, maybe we can have red in there or something like so I can override the colors. I can also have in this particular area <clears throat> maybe I want to override my borders so I can edit the border and I can come in here and say well um, yeah I really need to make my line weighting a little a little heavier perhaps and uh, and actually uh, I might want to go with uh, all borders here and say OK and uh, and we probably can't see that because I don't have my line weighting uh, turned on uh, at this point so it's probably not a good thing to see etc uh, so we can adjust those types of things uh, so we can adjust things basically by our our borders we can adjust our colors, we can adjust our justification, uh, we can also come up and change our uh, cell styles if we want. So I can come in here and I can say, well, I want my door schedule to be, um, I can go down and pick on, you know, the Bears titles or the Packer titles type thing, and I can change those as I wish. So I can override any of my table properties by just clicking on it and going up into my cell styles and modifying it and overriding my table properties.